Dark, wet and windy conditions greeted the competitors for the opening four stages of the Jersey Rally. Stephen Hendy first off the line in his Escort Turbo. Number two seed, local driver Chris Laboniek went into an overnight lead in his 2.5-litre Escort rear-wheel drive in the Jersey Rally, a round of the very popular Dunlop Metro GTI Challenge, with 14 competitors making the journey. One of the most unusual cars on the event, the Rover 2.7-litre Vitesse of Dave Price and Rob Stone. As darkness gave way to daylight, the Jersey driver Laboniek held the lead, sliding the Escort around the fast coastal road. Steve Hendy was challenging, but he retired on this stage when he hit a wall in the RS Turbo. Jersey crews were in third and fourth places at this stage, the Darien T90 of Martin Keith and the Chilika GT4 of Tim Lebrun. As the rally headed into the tighter lanes, Laboniek was using local knowledge to his advantage, taking fastest time here on stage six. Jeremy Bandat in his Mark II Escort, though, only one second behind him. Malcolm Oxborough was the top Metro driver at this point, running the car right up to the rev limiter. Adam Croton weaved his way through the artificial chicanes and up the hill past the harbour. But sensation of the rally was ex-works driver Tony Pond, making a guest appearance in a GTI challenge car and working his way into the top ten overall. Heavy rain made the roads extremely slippery and with high banks on either side there was little room for error. Dave Price was pressing on though in the big rover, getting a little out of shape in the mud. Tim Lebrun still running consistently in the powerful Toyota and swapping times with Banda in the Escort. Top Metro was now Chris Pope's example, running well inside the top ten. whilst the mud was keeping Tony Watson on his toes in his escort. The venerable Mark I escort is still alive and well, and living in Jersey, incidentally. Nobody was more surprised than Jeremy Bandin when he was declared the winner at the end of the final stage. Laboniek, who led throughout, had broken a ball joint, robbing him of victory in the final few miles. Martin Keith gingerly drove the Darien into seventh place. While Tony Pond startled everybody, bringing his Metro home in fourth. We joined Don Kettleborough in the Metro, threading his way through the Jersey lanes. Kettleborough came through to finish in fourth place in the Metro GTI category. Spare a thought finally for Andrea Hall, who tried to widen this junction. The sympathetic Jersey crowd making their feelings known. Let's take a look at the results then, with victory going to Baudin's Ford Escort. In the Dunlop Metro GTI Challenge, the celebrity driver doesn't score, so maximum points to Chris Pope.